It's me, Mikey Pipes, February 1st, 2023. And wow, the New York metropolitan area really dodged a bullet. We're gonna have a blizzard, but we got a, eh, about almost an inch of snow. But today we're taking out this comfort maker, three ton central air conditioning system and giving him an ultra efficient heat pump. You wanna guess by who? It's not Bosch. Stick around, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Let's get going. down to the basement next week all right there's our air handling unit there's our return filter grill we got a piece of flex there to that we're keeping the duct work replacing this line set all right i got my tools up here i got one glove missing one it is what it is people will be here soon i'm sure he's got some gloves in his pocket let me uh slide up here okay we're working with as you can see osha approved floorboards all right very nice oh i love it you love the osha approved floorboards yeah solid and i got my brunt work shoes on all right all right we'll turn the headlamp on let's get to work 8 19 in the morning wednesday February 1st. Let's get going. All right. I removed the Illy. Well, the Illy. I removed the uh, very Fagazi <sighs> Return Flex with their um, homemade uh, plenum box. <laughs> and uh, for the first time, I get to experience some hackery at this new customer's location. Here is my 240 volts going to this switch right here and then it gets jammed in there just like that pretty epic uh, there's the system rating plate um, the goal here is to I'm gonna spin this thing around so it's facing that away I think that's best that we don't have to crawl all the way around the unit um, we are pretty good since it's a 410a system but um, what we're doing here today is helping the customer achieve a goal, uh, and that is to be kind of like a net zero uh, with electrification. So what we're doing today is phase one of a multi-step process. The first step today is removing this um, three-ton R410A 13 SEER central air conditioning system equipment, the air handler, <coughs> excuse me, the line set, the outdoor condenser. And if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that typically, typically my go-to or Pipe Doctor Home Services go-to uh, heat pump and central air conditioning brand is Bosch. Um, but I'm an equal opportunity installer. I am. You see this? I'm the master plumber. I'm the owner, present, Pipe Doctor. There that is. I'm an equal opportunity installer. And I'm going to say it bluntly like this. If money's no object, dude, you're getting a carrier. That's right, baby. Dude, you're getting a carrier. And not just any carrier. A carrier infinity 24 sear heat pump system. It's going to be epic. Stick around. The ultimate in communicating systems. Being installed next on this show, Mikey Pipes. Let's go. All right. So um, we're just... Uh, disconnecting everything you can see. This is where my raw electric was going through. I have the circuit breaker panel off. I use my non-contact electrical tester by Fluke. There that is. And we have no power there, right? Because it's off at the breaker. We're going to put this off to the side right now. And I did put some Wagos on there. The uh, Wago 2 conductor. Um, the uh, two, uh, 221 model. 
Just put that off to the side there, out of the way. All right, and uh, I'm gonna start disconnecting the thermostat condenser wire, which is gonna get replaced anyway. And uh, overall, pretty clean in here. You know, pretty clean. So let's start get rocking and rolling here. All right, so you may be asking if money's no object and you're gonna install a carrier infinity communicating system, then uh, why are you keeping the duct work? Well, well, great question. Right, great question. Uh, once we the duct work looks pretty good. Yes, the return plenum is non-existent. Uh, the box, they just put a piece of sheet metal there, which is not cool. Um, but once we install the system, and uh, we're gonna do a static pressure test, if it tests out good, I'm not touching the duct work. If it is, if it doesn't prove to be good, then we're gonna change it. The communicating system, I wanna make sure we have proper airflow. I don't wanna have any issues. I don't wanna marry the system. I wanna see it once a year to do preventive maintenance. You got me? Smash that thumbs up button. All right. My unit is disassembled. Let's uh, let's get this thing out of here. And for reference, it's uh, a little after 8.40 in the morning. No one else is here, just me. So I'm gonna take apart, I'm gonna, sorry, I took apart the entire unit. I'm gonna bring it over there, I'm gonna bring it outside, and then I'll show the boys how we get it done. It's gonna not the water. <laughs> they beat me to it. So that's basically about everything. I disconnected that one uh, that plenum, that flex from here that went across the top of the unit, all the way over there. I just kind of that just for ease. But uh, that's it. A little bit more debris here, along with some other crap that we collected along the way. Not too shabby. Start cutting out the line set. Set the air handler on top of the new pan and call it a day. That is, after we run a new line set, install the condenser, run some stat wire, program everything, commission, static test, get it done. What time do you think will be done today? Closest, without going over, I am going to give away a $100 swag pack. Yep, $100, Mikey Pipe swag pack. It's going to be awesome post don't cheat right now in the comment section down below what time you think we'll be done today with this 23 sear carrier infinity heat pump system communicating system all right do it now she a big boy oh yeah oh yeah you know you know who wants these you know who we gotta give some of these to sam you know, the guy at the castle on the hill, Sam. right? Hi, Sam. He, he's a watcher. He's in the intro, isn't he? He's on, yeah. If, not, if you're not going pipe doctor, you're getting screwed. He needs one of these. And also Q. Remember Q? He's got, the, he had the McLaren. Yeah, he gave him a lock and bar instead. He got, a, that was a nice machine, lock and bar. I, I miss putting those in. The oil McLean's is so much easier. You had a bad three-way valve. Yeah, which I, the guy couldn't figure out on tech support. I was like, it's bad. I, can I just, can you just give me the part number? He's like, oh, well, I don't know. It could be. <laughs> it's like I have it out and it's not. See, cool. that's what separates. And, and not to pat them on the back. Yeah, Bosch tech support sucks. <laughs> Facts. So the one disadvantage, this thing is a f effing beast. Stand up next to it. <laughs> Look at that. If that was a Bosch, it'd be up to your nutsack, <laughs> right? I think it's huge. And it weighs a ton, and it weighs a ton, and it comes back to factory charge at 14.1 pounds, a 410A. Is it more efficient than the Bosch? Yeah. 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 Um, we have about 10 inches away from the side wall of the house. I think it's effing beast, I tell you, it's an effing beast. And, uh, <laughs> wow, it's heavy. <laughs> wow. All right. The air handler has been reassembled. We have to balance it a little bit. It's a little off level. Uh, I cut the line set out, but while I was uh, all the way in the corner over here, let me bring you over here, guys. Walking across my OSHA approved attic plywood. Okay. Take a look at this. So 
Feel that white stuff everywhere? Look at that. I don't know about you. That sure does look like mold to me. Feel that? <coughs> she looks like white mold to Peter. me. Peter. Yep. Every single nail. Oh. Is leaking. Uh -oh. Wow. Holy shit. Wow, look at that. Every single nail is leaking. Look. Holy shit. Wow. Well, that explains all the mold. Is that mom? All right, so I'm over here back by the hatch. You know, for the access to the attic. There's our air handler. We ran a new 7 8 from um, one piece. No no, uh, no joints. From the condenser across to the air handler. I just want to show you up here. Look at this. Right there. See that? It's wet. Every single nail is wet. Look at that. See that? Crazy. I feel so bad, by the way. And we gotta balance that out a little bit, but other than that, we good. All right, let's work on the thermostat wire. Ah. All right, we have a nest. Okay. Good, I love these screws, by the way. Don't you love those screws? They're nice. They're nice. Okay. Let me see, let me see one of the screws. See how nice these screws are? They have special threads. For sheetrock, really nice. Like the flat face, uh, and that's nice too. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we have, we have here. This wire is R H. Let's take out R H and W. Okay. One. And that should be this two little wire one. Is it? Yes. Okay. Well, they got a boatload of wires here. Which ones were connected? Uh, white and blue. Okay. So that is for our boiler. Here, this is RH, sorry, RC, which is 24 volt cooling. G is fan. W1 is first stage <coughs> cooling, right? So let's take this out. And let's take the plate off the wall. And then we're gonna fish a new wire, five wire, from the thermostat up to the air handler. All right, we haven't filmed in a while. That's so high. All right. So here we are. Daniel and Peter. Peter's holding the tail. Oh, look at that. We're using the Stay Bright 8 by Harris Company to connect the pipes. Here we go. So we're using wet wag. Wet wag. Wet rag. This is by Refrigeration Technologies. Uh, the guys over there were kind enough to uh, send me this uh, last year. Oops. <laughs> oh, now you got cocky all in there. Nice but it really looks great. They make, um, they also make the Viper chemicals, you know, for cleaning, evaporating, or condenser coils. Uh, this wet rag is really great stuff. Acts as a great heat block. Highly recommend you guys use it. It's so much easier than getting a, like a wet rag from a stolen hotel uh, washcloth. There you go. Very nice. Now, if you'll notice, we are installing the bi-directional filter dryer on the inside. Uh, that way it's protected from the elements. You know, it's not going to uh, rust. It's not going to be exposed to weather, things like that. I could make your... He was really happy. What are you gonna oh, do? Oh, you, gonna, eh, you don't have to do that. But okay, you can. 
Um, in, the, in, the mean, in the meantime, our system is wired. Power is applied. I'm using the brown and the black for the future hydronic relay that we're going to use. It's going to turn on the boiler uh, for emergency heat purposes when it's too cold out. So the oil boiler is going to be a backup temporarily. And again, it's only temporary. And that's stage one of electrifying this house. We're getting rid of the oil boiler on phase two. Uh, but first, you've got to put solar panels on the roof. So right now, Daniel is heating the fitting and applying Stay Bright 8. A lot of, uh, not a lot, but some, some of the community don't like using this. They say in a fire, you know, the melting point, all that good stuff. But it is an approved method for connecting the piping. And um, it's very nice. And it allows us not to be able to purge with nitrogen because we're not going to get any of that carbon buildup because we're not brazing. So that's the main reason for using the Stay Bright. Dan, you gotta, you're going to burn your finger. There you go. The main reason for using Stay Bright is I don't have to purge with nitrogen uh, because we're not brazing. When you braze, you know, the, 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 the temperature of that pipe gets cherry red and it forms a, a little coating of carbon on the inside of the piping and stuff like that clogs up filter dryers, TXVs, electronic expansion valves, things like that. You know, gets you know, it's not good for the system. So, like a screwdriver. yeah, here, Peter, why don't you use a screwdriver? Use your noggin, Peter. See, smart, smart. Okay, and um, next up, we're gonna go to the programming of the uh, thermostat. So, stick around. All right, before we uh, go to the thermostat and do configuration of it, um, one of the things I did forget to order was the hydronic relay. Let me show you what I'm talking about in the manual. On page 10 of the manual, all right, we have hydronic heat application. So the fan coil supports two types of heating. We could do a hot water coil in combination with the heat pump or hot water coil as a sole heat source. So let's say we had a hot water coil here. So we can do the hot water coil, right? Um, or we can do an H, the, the fan coil combined with the radiant hot water heat, which is what we're gonna do. But in either application, we need this relay kit, this relay interface kit, right? Which must be installed in place of an electric heater, right? So the system, because it's a communicating system, will identify that the hydronic heat has been installed during the initial commissioning process. And the system will treat the hot water coil as either auxiliary heat in a heat pump application or as a sole heat source. We want it as an auxiliary heat for an emergency heat in a heat pump application. Easy peasy, right there. Read the manual, guys. Read the effing manual. Wealth of information right in front of you. All right, let's go say hi to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. What's doing? You know, people complained. You know, whatever, regardless of what I do or what we do, people are always going to complain anyway, right? It's like, oh, what's wrong with you? You have a $2,000 board in the Bosch, right? Forget that $2,000 board in the Bosch. You have one, two, three, four. You got four of them. <laughs> Look at the size of this transformer, by the way. Yeah, but this is a mean ass heat pump, I tell you. She's a mean ass heat pump, and we're down to 550 microns already. We just closed the gas ballast on the field piece VP67. The oils. Wow, look at that! That, that oil is bubbly. The oil's blowing bubbles. I swear, I'm blowing bubbles. 415, 400, and 390 and drop in microns. This is gonna be a very, very real tight, tight system. Reminds me of your sister last night when I got done with the. Over here we have our disconnect panel. I'm not using a toggle, I mean a, a pullout plug. We're using a circuit breaker. Look at that, nice. It's by Eaton, I get mine from supplyhouse.com. Real people, real service. Not a sponsor of the channel. For surge protection, What's up with that? We'll just shove that back in there. For surge protection, I'm using the Rector Seal RSH50. They got a crazy warranty protecting the equipment. Should that fail, they'll honor a warranty on parts. 
So right now we're at 235 microns. We're dropping. We're dropping like cutting down trees in a forest yelling timber. And we're not talking about Kesha after she got bukkake by uh, those, those guys at the recording studio. She's yelling timber. We got a lot of stuff up here. Let's see. There's a little bit of brown. This little overspray or something right there. Very nice. Take a close look at this. We have a control board right here. It says reactor. It's like we have a Chernobyl right here. It says reactor. No kidding. Reactor. Got a QR code right there. That's the flux capacitor. <laughs> we got two big giant 30 amp fuses right here. They, no, those are actually built. Those are not changeable either. Are they not? They don't look like they're changeable. Try checking them out. No. No. That's stupid. Yeah, I, just, I guess throw the whole board out. All right, and uh, here is where our L1 and L2 come in. All right, and ground right there. There's the load. From there, it goes to this control board, which is two fuses, I guess. Any kind of overpowerage, we're gonna blow this and protect all this other good stuff. That's why I put the rector seal in. Look at that control board. That looks like like a city. That looks like Beirut from like space, by the way. <laughs> Damn, right there is like the Coliseum. But uh, really, really nice. You know, we have our A, B, and C connections right there, which was uh, they're all labeled right. Green. You took a picture of that, right? Yeah. We have our electronic expansion valve. Another little control board right there. Hey guys, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend to know what all of these things do, but I know it's a carry infinity. Say right. no more. Right. While we are waiting for this vacuum to go down, let's have another giveaway in this video. The first giveaway is what time will we be done today? I'm not telling you what time it is right now, but the sun is behind me. There it is, the sun is behind me. There's Daniel. Let's let's play a game of guess how low it's gonna go all right within the next five minutes you see what time it is all right within the next five actually let's round to the nearest whole hour four minutes all right and within the next four minutes what do you think the microns are gonna be when we start a decay test all right you think it's 61 yeah. drop your feedback your your guess in the comment section down below whether it's the live premiere or it's just, you know, you have to guess before a AHR Expo. So you have until Monday, let's say Tuesday morning. Tuesday. You have until Tuesday, which is February 6th or 7th? Seven. You have until Tuesday, February 7th at 12 Eight. p.m. I don't know, look at the calendar. I don't know what day it is. I know what today is Wednesday and it's the first. Thursday is the second. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday's the seventh, right? I use my fingers to count. Do you have a calendar? Yeah, what does right it look there, like? Right there, right oh. there. Yes. Tuesday. You have until Tuesday, February 7, 2023, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time to guess how low... Damn, she's low. Damn. To guess how low it is. The closest without going under, right? Because you can't be over. The closest without going under. So let's say it's 120. You guess 119, you're wrong. But if you guess 121, you're right. So we're going to flip it around. The closest without going under. So you can't go guess past it, right? So make sense? Okay. What should we give them? Uh, hmm. A tool that you don't like anymore. A tool that I don't like anymore. Um, Peter. Peter. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, so stop. He's your brother. Oh, let's see. Let me think about that oh, for you're a right. second. The closest without going over is going to win the Ellie Tech vacuum pump. Built in micron, Built in micron gauge. And it hooks up to the Ellie Tech, Tech a digital manifold. The closest without going under is going to win the Ellie Tech vacuum pump. I like the vacuum pump, built-in micron gauge. I'm going to send you a swag pack from Mikey Pipes, including our new sticker. Did you guys see the new sticker yet while we're waiting for the next two minutes to occur? Let me show you the new sticker. I think you're going to like this. Do you guys want to see the stickers? Let me show you the new stickers. This is the official. This is version five. I have four stickers already. 
Are you guys ready for version five? The official first for 2023. The first time introduced to the community right now. We're at T minus 60 seconds. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let you me ready show for it. it. The sticker or the mic? The sticker. Yeah, the sticker's sure. Bow! As soon as you said bow, it hit the reading too. There it is. This is, this is a, damn, this is like more of a handful, like your sister's uh, titties. Mikey Pipes, look, I even got some guns, like Air Force None, All right? Making trades great again. Stickers are available. Email me, MikeyMikeyPipes.com. Donations to Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App are appreciated to the Potions now, Fund. Are you ready? Do you think they're ready, Daniel? Oh, I'm ready. Come on, get the F out of here. The Whoever guessed... Should we use a decimal point? Yeah. We're going to use a decimal point. If you guessed 56.3. Oh, we're still going. No, we got we to gotta close it off. We'll do it. We have to do, yeah. No, 56.6. If you guessed 56. No, F it. 56. If you guessed 56, the closest without going under, all right, is going to win the Elitech vacuum pump with built-in micron gauge, a swag pack, I'm going to throw you a, 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 a shirt, I'm going to throw you a hat, I'm going to throw you all four stickers, including this one right here, all of them, bow, together, let's make the trades gate again. Congratulations to all the winners, we're doing the decay test right now. The decay has passed, okay? It's a pass, look at that, it passed. Wow, epic, dump the charge. Perfect. As we're searching for the indoor unit right now. While we do that, let's just rest you right there. Perfect. <laughs> I cracked myself up, I swear. So it's going to search for the indoor unit. It's going to identify, I believe, the model and serial number. And then it's going to search for the outdoor unit. Also identify the model and serial number. And then we'll do the commissioning of the uh, startup. Next, it's going to uh, ask me for an electric heater. None is found, so we're going to select that. Now it's looking for the add-on modules. We're not going to have any yet. Loading is found because there is none. We're going to do a regular air filter. Uh, no humidifier. Ultraviolet, no. And there we go. There's our fan coil. There's our variable capacity. Heat pump, 36,000. There's the model of that. Let's do next. Airflow verification test. So it does its own static pressure test. It's epic. All right. There's the airflow verification test. Zero static pressure. Interesting. Okay. And we have an updated end user agreement. Okay. Let's accept that. Now let's do some heating. Done. Okay. Let's go. But first, we gotta charge the system. Hmm? For the for the, the, the videos. Editing? Yeah. I don't edit anything. No, it was straight out of it. Yep. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. Uncut, unedited, raw. Uh, full installation. We did that already. Start system installation process. I'm looking for charging. Uh, check out. Oh, refrigerant charging. There you go. We're going to do a weigh in. And we have a line set of uh, 44 feet. All right, so 45 foot line set, vapor line is 7.8 inches. We're gonna save that. And uh, next, and we're doing a new install. So we need to add one pound, two ounces. And you also see here some charge breakdown. So one pound, two ounces. Let me All right, we got one more thing left to do. And I know it sounds kind of retarded. You guys will see what I mean in a second. System is running, by the way. Hear that? No, you don't. That's right. <laughs> you know what? Just to... Uh... There you go. <laughs> you ain't testing, you're guessing. And by the way, I'm really liking it. It's a premium, premium heat pump. Double the price of the Bosch IDS 2.0. Uh, but the naysayers out there can never talk about humidification control. None of that. You can't talk about that. You can't talk about it as a $2,000 control board because there's multiple $2,000 control boards in there. But 
like the Bosch IDS 2.0, this bad boy is whisper quiet. Whisper quiet. So, if you're in our service territory, we're based in Valley Stream, New York. God willing, moving shortly. God willing, moving shortly. Can't wait. It's going to be epic. Stay tuned. It's going to be epic. Paperwork is in order. But right now, we're based in Valley Stream, New York. If you're in Nassau County, Queens, parts of Brooklyn, parts of Bronx near Throgs Neck, or near where Daniel lives near Dix Hills, Suffolk County, you know, west of 231 Deer Park Avenue, give me a call, 516-348-6300. You won't be disappointed, just like all of our thousands upon thousands of other clients we help on a daily basis. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And until next time, be well. God bless, stay safe, and good luck to the two winners. It is 129, still Wednesday, still February 1st, still 2023. So the closest without going over to 129, you're a winner of the first, the first giveaway. And whoever won the Micron giveaway, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. If you want stickers, if you want any of the, if you ain't testing, Guessing Mikey Pipe stickers, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I would appreciate if you could donate to the post fund, whether it's a dollar or 50 cents. You want to send me stamps, please. Send it to Pipe Doctor Home Services, 80 East Hawthorne Avenue, Valley Stream, New York, 11580. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe.